Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem Sherlock and cost. In this challenge you will be given an array B and must determine an array A. There is a special rule for all i. A of i should be less than or equal to B of i. That is uh, A of i can be in the range of 1 to B of i. So your task is to select a series of A of i given b of i such that the sum of the absolute difference of consecutive pairs of a is maximized. There will be an array cost and will be represented uh, by the variable s below. So this is the uh, consecutive pair difference and uh, we are just uh, adding it all together. So here for an example we have 1, 2 and 3 means uh, we can choose any number in the range of uh, this as a high value. Uh, the elements in the B. So these are the possible uh, values that you can take and uh, by doing the uh, difference and uh, doing the summation the maximum value obtained here is uh, 2. So here uh, instead of generating all the values and uh, try to get the consecutive uh, pairs difference and summing it will definitely exceed the time limit. Again we have to use dynamic programming to store the previous values and uh, reuse it uh, for the next step in order to find the maximum summation here and uh, here you can see the constraints we have 20 test cases uh, that is the maximum and uh, the maximum number of elements can be 10 to the power of 5 so at the top level you could solve it in uh, n log n uh, but it's better to solve it in uh, order of n itself. We are going to solve it in uh, order of n that is uh, linear time. Let's see some uh, sample input. So this is the input only one uh, example has been given apart from uh, this one. So here you can see 10 1 10 1 10 even if we choose the array as it is if you take the difference it will be like 9999 9, 9, 9. if you add it all together it will be 36 so we will be returning the total as it is uh, if the elements are differing we have to like uh, compute in a uh, optimal way and store the uh, best result uh, with two variables i'm going to show everything in the code and after that i will uh, uh, trace the problem using the example in the sample input so uh, first uh, we have to take few variables so previous one previous two max one max two zero so this is the initialization step and after that we will go for the main logic in the main logic uh, you could see uh, if you consider this problem you could either uh, take the minimum number so here in this case uh, you can either take like one or uh, 10 which is the maximum and uh, compute the difference so take either 1 or b of i so whichever uh, giving the uh, maximum uh, result for us will be just uh, keeping it and keep it as a maximum like we'll be updating the variables so for i in range of 1 comma n uh, we'll be uh, computing with the previous uh, element that's why we are starting from 1 so it will be like i minus 1 uh, for the previous element now for the first uh, logic if if b of i or 1 get picked so max 1 equals max of previous one plus absolute of b of i minus b of i minus 1 so this is uh, uh, one thing so if we take uh, b of uh, i minus 1 that is the previous element and uh, taking the absolute difference we are just checking whether uh, it is giving the maximum or else previous 2 plus absolute of 1 minus b of i so if we take 1 means uh, we are just uh, computing the difference with the current element so this is 1 and uh, the next one is if element 1 is picked in the previous step 
previous step so for that max2 equals prev1 plus absolute of 1 minus b of i minus 1 so if we take an uh, 1 uh, for the previous element uh, difference so that maximum will be stored here so using this only we are going to compute it here uh, just to compare like two possible ways of getting the maximum element so after doing this we will just update the previous variables so prev1 equals max1 prev2 equals max2 so you guys can uh, get the logic so this will be like like uh, this update is like usual so you are just using the prev1 uh, here and here just to keep track of the maximum and uh, if the last element is uh, chosen if last element 1 is chosen means uh, this prev2 will be used here and finally return max of max1 comma max2 so after doing the computation for uh, all the elements in the array we will be getting like uh, two uh, possible way of uh, getting the maximum so we will just return whichever the maximum uh, value so that's pretty much the uh, logic let's run the code once to check whether it is working fine or not okay it is uh, working fine uh, for example I'll just uh, take this array as an example so it will be like simple for us okay so this will be the input and for first iteration iteration so max1 equals uh, prev1 will be 0 plus uh, b of i minus b of i minus 1 so this will be b of i b of i minus 1 so that will be 3 comma so this will be like max of so this is equals 3 and uh, in the second step previous 0 is 0 plus b 1 minus b of i so that will be 6 total is 6 so we will be taking the maximum from this that will be 6 max 1 is 6 max 2 equals previous is again 0 and uh, 1 minus b of i minus 1 so b of i minus 1 is 4 so this will be 3 total is 3 so we have computed and we will be just updating the previous as well so this will be 6 and previous 2 equals 3 so the first iteration completes second iteration second iteration again we will be computing the max 1 max of so previous one is 6 uh, plus b of i minus b of i minus 1 so 7 minus 9 is like 2 so we'll be getting 8 here 8 and previous 2 is uh, 3 3 plus 1 minus 9 that will be uh, 8 so the total is 11 and max 1 is 11 okay max 2 will be uh, previous of 1 is 6 plus 1 minus b of i minus 1 that is also 6 equals 12 update the previous now okay sorry previous 1 equals this will be 11 and this will be 11 previous 2 equals 12 so after each step uh, the previous is getting uh, updated for you guys so finally we will be just returning because uh, we have reached the end of the array so we have like 11 and uh, 12 the answer is 12 so we'll be just uh, returning 12 return 12 or return max of so that will be 12 okay 
So this is the whole tracing of the problem. You could also trace the problem with the other examples. Each time uh, we are considering like uh, uh, two of the logic. So one is like a previous uh, max of one and uh, computing with the difference with the current element. And the other one is uh, previous computation with the uh, element picked as one and the current computation as well with the element uh, picked as one. So whichever gives the maximum, we'll just store it here and we will just uh, compute another maximum for uh, storing the previous. So this process will uh, keep on uh, going again and again until we get the result. So these two values are like a combination of uh, possible ways, like the maximum possible obtainable. Um, so uh, apart from using the single variables, uh, you could have uh, uh, seen the problem like some machine arrangement and uh, most probable way of picking elements, something like that. I think it will be in the algorithm uh, books for uh, dynamic programming example. So there as well, uh, you will be like storing these intermediate values in an array. So this uh, instead of storing it in a single value, you will be just keeping an array and uh, storing these uh, two values. So we'll be having like a, a two list uh, that will be storing the maximum at each step. So that is also another way, but uh, this will be like order of one time complexity because we are not using any kind of array here. The space complexity will be order of one because we are not using any arrays here, but the time complexity will be order of n because uh, we are iterating through the uh, uh, list of elements in the array. So I think that's pretty much it guys. You could also trace uh, other problems in order to understand it uh, much better. And uh, even if you take this example, uh, we have to just uh, take the maximum. That means uh, we'll be just uh, using the this logic that will that is uh, taking the previous element and computing the difference. That itself will give you the maximum uh, sum. So like that, uh, this logic will uh, solve all the cases. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let's submit the code once to check everything is working fine. So all the test cases has been solved. Uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, please leave a comment below. Apart from that, if you have any other logic other than this, uh, you can share it with the community. It will be very helpful uh, for everyone. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for uh, future videos. Stay tuned for the next video.